All right, what's up, people? It's Terminator Juice, and I'm just going to do some quick Ghost of Tsushima, Tsushima impressions. So I'm probably an hour into the game. I did the opening sequence, which was a lot of cinematics and scripted, but also teaching you how to play. Very short tutorial, but more entertaining than most because of uh, the mix between cinematics so the sun is rising or setting here, and uh, yeah, it was uh, dark clouds and you know about five minutes ago. So this is completely different visual going on here. But I will say, like that opening 45 minutes to an hour tutorial slash you know opening cinematics of the game, um, really well done. Is one of the better openings. To a game I've played in a long time, actually. So I want to do some combat here, but definitely uh, enjoying the game so far. I don't know who's who's to fight here. I guess both sides. I don't know why they're fighting each other. But I took them out, and uh, yeah, that's uh, it's pretty incredible. Um, but yeah, I, I keep saying, but yeah, uh, I'm really enjoying the game so far. I mean, it's too early to, to know. I mean, it could get boring tedious and stuff but opening sequence was up there with some of the best openings i've played in me in recent memory especially for sony first party um music's incredible uh, artistic artistically speaking um incredible and technically just absolutely amazing um definitely the best uh PS4 visuals I've ever seen. Um, great mix of artistic and technical achievement. So, yeah, I uh, I hope it continues that because I'm really enjoying this so far, and I'm uh, no, no hurry to pick up a uh, Ratchet and Clank now because I I feel like I want to keep playing this. Um, I still want to play Returnal as well, so I, I don't know. This uh, this is off to a good start, though. So I'm gonna definitely keep playing this one, and I'm arrived at my location. So this would be like my first mission. I'm gonna find a gate, and it has also has the best photo mode I've ever. It's it's amazing. How much you can change like you can add these stamps but just how much you can change uh, let's do uh, color grading just on the fly like that gets it closer to normal normal lighting um, color grade intensity exposure so you can raise the brightness contrast Add particles. Wind speed, wind direction, clouds, time of day, change the weather. Like all on the fly, all in real time with it moving. And uh, you can pause it. You can find like a good still shot. Like that looks... And then I'd probably... Do this. Maybe add something like that. Great screenshot. It's, I forget how to zoom out though. There we go. Let's go up a little higher. Look down. Boom. Got yourself a screenshot. And then, you know, you don't like that? Reset. Uh, square. 
hit square. Either way, it's really well done. If you like to take photos like me, um, it's a it's a great photo mode. Best by far I've ever experienced in a game. Like it's not even close. Like the second best. It's just a lot of games fall into that same. You know, you can move the camera, you can change a few things, but this is like on a whole nother level. So, I'm guessing I got to figure out. But anyway, that's just my uh, initial impressions, and sneaky bastard. The sun was in my eyes. So uh, we're going to end this in photo mode. Why is nothing moving? Let's get it moving. There we go. And yeah, so uh, let me know what you think if you played this. If you haven't, if you're looking, looking forward to it or you ever think you're going to play it. But yeah, first impressions are very promising. So I'm definitely going to play more. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.